I got a problem. I got a problem. It's basic sorgonomics. And that's my platform to share my problems with you. And hopefully you don't do the same. Uh, Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. And um, so I had an issue this week where I had been bugged for several uh, weeks by this uh, message that kept popping up. A former client of mine, a doctor uh, up in the North Hills, that, uh, oh, there's a message for you. All right. Why would he be contacting me on this platform? Uh, it's some, some, some other social network that I've never heard of. Never heard of. I believe it's called Zorpia or something. Uh, and finally, after several weeks of pestering emails, finally, I should have just said unfollow, but I don't know. I, my, my curiosity was piqued. I was man, socially manipulated enough from this thing. It, 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 it chinked, it, 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 it poked at my armor, and finally. And I clicked on it. And I was like, okay, I'll, we'll, we'll see what this is. Of course, it's a, you click on it, and then you have to sign up for the service in order to see what the message is. All right. All right, I've signed up for plenty of services. That's, that's fine. So uh, it uses a Google login, so I didn't really have to do a lot. Ooh, in retrospect, that might be even worse. Um, so just logged in with my Google account, did whatever, brought me in there, brought me to a screen and says, hey, you're good. You're, you invite your friends. I'm like, okay, that's weird. And I saw maybe like two rows of people and I'm like, okay. And I noticed the pictures were like fairly older pictures. And I'm like, well, where did they get this from? Obviously, they got it from my Google contacts in retrospect as well. And I'm like, I'm just trying to get into the thing. I don't want to invite these people. I, I absolutely do not want to invite these people. Uh, so I'm trying to find the button that will let me continue without inviting people. I was like, I'm clicking and clicking and clicking. Uh, and, you know, as you do, you, you've seen this, you've got a pop up ad, maybe clicked on something by accident. Uh, inadvertently clicked on the button that uh, maybe had a bigger click area or something for all I know. And maybe, maybe I got tricked in that way. Um, I'd like to think so, that I'm not this gullible. Um, but let's all be honest here. Uh, so I click on it and, um, and it, it goes on and I'm just like, uh, like, thank you. And, and I was like, wait, something bad just happened, didn't it? Because realizing the thing that I did click on was far too close to any other indication than I just invited these people. I'm like, oh man, I, okay, I guess like eight people got a message from me. I start seeing emails. People approving requests. I start seeing messages from my friends. One, check. <laughs> my, my buddy Shachi always, when he gets something weird from from me, says, "Check your shit. I think you got hacked because I'm I'm requesting something and it's from a weird service nobody heard of." Um, some other people saying, um, "Hey, hey, did you send me a thing? What is this? Did you send me a thing? What is this?" A bounce back from Amazon.com saying, hey, you shouldn't be emailing this address. Uh, more or less, I'm bullying it down. You shouldn't be emailing this address. Uh, this is not a, a emailable address. And it's something, uh, I'm presuming it's it's the email address that they send my order confirmation through. Turns out, apparently, they had sent a request to every email in my Gmail contact list. And you know what's amazing? When somebody emails you in Gmail, Typically, it adds that email to your contact list. You know how long I've been using Gmail? I don't even want to think about how many people got an email to join me on the service. And until they find that unsubscribe button at the bottom like I did, we'll continue to get annoying emails from the service. I'm sorry. I feel horrible. And I got tricked. I poked my 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 internet nose where it shouldn't have been, and uh, and this place got me. Companies also in Hong Kong. Try your own conclusions. The internet's hard, you guys. And uh, when you when you go home on the holidays, and you have to do the ritual cleaning, cleansing of your uh, of your parents and grandparents um, and, and, and relatives, computers, 
to see what they got themselves into in the last year. Don't feel um, so superior. We've all clicked on things before. I know people that are very knowledgeable. I ended up clicking on the button to install Flash. That was not the Flash button. And had the virus that we had to wipe the hard drive and maybe hopefully it was still gone. You know, malware, whatever you call it these days, right? Yeah, that's where we're at. It happens. You can take precautions. Uh, now I'm just going to be very doomsaying right now. You can take all your precautions, but if uh, the right thing creeps through to manipulate you, as it did here in my email, and I get a lot of email. I, I, I get a lot of email, and spam, spam filters have definitely alleviated much of that, that issue with Gmail. But there's still stuff that comes through where I'm like, oh, this is like probably like an automated thing. And, and sometimes I, I poke around and I, I, I respond and say, oh, maybe it's a real thing. I don't know. You know, it's 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 one of those things. Um, slimy, slimy, slimy uh, tactics online. Related, you know, I. I know for me. I don't want to be one that uses those. That's why I have my pet peeves. Maybe I'm trying to decide if this should be a whole nother episode or not. Um, but pet peeves, like I go to a site, and even though I've been there, and I'm a I'm a follower of the site, or I'm a listener to the podcast, and I already subscribe to the newsletter, and the pop up uh, takes over my screen every time I'm there. And one of those that like loads like five seconds after you've been there and already started reading every time. There has to be a better way to do that. Right? I mean, there's a cookie, but how many computers am I bouncing to and devices and phones and iPads throughout the day? It's not going to work. Um, I don't mean to throw some people under the bus if they listen to this, but... Uh, when you get tagged, to me, I like the purity of the intention of certain um, aspects of social media. When you get tagged in a photo, to me, that means you are in the photo. These services interpret that as you are on a fo- in a photo. If you go to my Instagram account and you click on the, the button, and um, I believe it's stated there and maybe in Facebook as well, pictures of you. Pictures of you. Yet, when you go there, there I am tagged. Pictures of me are cover art for other podcasts and posters for other wrestling shows. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't think I have ever been on the poster for a wrestling show. If you see me in person in my physique, I think that's very obvious. Um, and so when I put my shows out, I don't feel too great about doing the same thing. In fact, I did it. I did it the other day um, from the Wrestling Mayhem Show account and tagged a few people. And uh, I felt dirty. I felt dirty. I don't. I know these are the tactics people are using, and to a certain point, they work. To a certain point, they're getting new listeners, potentially from these tactics. But I think the weight of annoying the people already following you, perhaps, um, already in your court. I think that weight is too great to do those tactics to bring on new followers. I mean, that's just where I'm at with it. Um, and that's kind of my own choice when I'm doing these things. Uh, for instance, I have somebody that that is uh, corresponding with me, and I, I've, I've, I've spoken with them. I've done... I've done, I've done, you know, some work with them and get an email it says, Hey, I hope everything's going well. And, and, and hope you, uh, you know, the catch up or something like that. Right. And I look at it. I'm like, this is an automated email. This is an automated email saying, Hey man, I want to catch up. What's going on? We talked about this week, um, being personal. And and showing there's a, a human there, right? 
and I am very, 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 very cautious of my automation. Automation is great, but if it's an automation around something that should have a human touch, I think uh, I think you need to, to step back and take a look at it again. So, so there's there's some teaching lessons there, and some trickery and tomfoolery. Don't be the perpetrator, please. Let me know what you think. Sogatron.com at Sogatron. We've both all been there. Share share something that tricked you. Share something that uh, that annoys you on the on the net, and uh, let me know. We'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.